Hello everyone, it's Larson Siever and... Cam Ross. And we're on a quest to find the best cheese curds in Milwaukee. And to start out this quest, we are in the heart of Marquette's campus at Doghouse, a place that students know that when they need their cheesy fix, they come right here to Doghouse for their cheese curds. So, over there ado, let's try them out. The first bite of the cheese curd. Right. Is the best bite. Let's Ready? share it to this. Ready? Boom. Mm -hmm. Break you, it open. You're gonna just pull, you're gonna I break just, it open. That's what you do. I just wanted to look at the cheese. The goodness. cheese pull. Look at the cheese pull. I'm not mad at this. Okay. Right. Ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh wait, I'm having issues now. <laughs> wow. Mm. That really okay. glorious. I'm gonna make this comparison, but like compared to all other cheese curds that I've had, for some reason. It tastes like the cheese is wrapped in a pancake. It's so doughy, but like in a good way. Mm -hmm. Tell me, out of one to 10, how would you rank this cheese curd? Based on the fact that it is a little bit like a dessert, but it could hold a little bit of higher quality. I give it a good seven and a half. Maybe I'm just being too generous here, but there's just something about that, the, the cakiness and it's like batter um, that I want to give it a 9 out of 10. Really? Yeah. See, I just think there are some cheese curds that have a higher quality cheese. Like, you see this? It's nice. It's American. It's good. But it's not the best Wisconsin can do for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like that's important. Absolutely. I feel like it's yeah. important. And if we're judging cheese curds here, I gotta be strict. Absolutely. That's absolutely fair. I'll take into account your ranking, though, for sure. <laughs> All right, do you want to move on to our next location? Let's do it. The next place our cheesy adventure is taking us is Wings Over Milwaukee, ladies and gentlemen. Wings Over just recently added cheese curds to their menu. It's probably like a year now. I haven't gotten them as much. I order Wings Over a lot. And what's great about this restaurant is unlike the other places where we have to actually go to them, this because it's not a dine-in location, we just order on Eat Street, and we never have to leave our own apartment um, to get that cheesy fix. Consuming cheese, not moving, what's more American? This already is like, it's a different color, it's a much like more golden brown, it looks more fried than the- It's definitely a different consistency, and also, my one critique already before you've even bitten in, is that you see the cheese has already popped out of some places. Yeah, I know. Poor craftsmanship, know. ladies and gentlemen. Now, see, I want to try what you did in Doghouse because I thought it was really smart. We're going to try for the cheese bowl. So let's Ooh, just... okay, let's see. Yeah. No, that you was know, weak sauce, man. It was really... And also, I, my, if you're looking at my fingers right now, they're already a lot greasier just from one touch compared to Doghouse, which actually is more dry on the outside and it's greasy inside. Which is good. It's like the glory that you want from cheese curd. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Thoughts? You know, not great. Not great. <laughs> like if I were staying at home, I would just venture going outside for the five seconds just to go to doghouse because yeah. that would be more worth it than this. I so agree. what would you rank this out of ten? A good four. I'm gonna go with that as well. Four. Four yeah. out of ten. It's yeah. like it's still cheesy goodness. Like. And like I'm probably still gonna finish it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna like, eat these. <laughs> but that doesn't say much. I'm not gonna enjoy it. Alrighty, our next destination is the Milwaukee Public Market. There are so many food options here, but since you're in Wisconsin, why not come to the Public Market for cheese curds, ladies and gentlemen? Here we are at the West Alice Cheese and Sausage Shop, and they gave us a generous amount to try. So, mm -hmm. without further ado, let's invite on in. All right, are we ready? Yep. Dip. Oh, I'm nowhere now. All right. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Intriguing. I'd say this um, one's good. It's flaky. It's it's, very it has flaky. a really high quality cheese. My one critique would be that the cheese is a little bit chewy. So if it's very stringy, then like, what is that cheese pull like? Ah. It's not at all. It's not existing. Though these were only six dollars, and you get such a generous amount, which is a huge plus. Six dollars, you could share this between easily three or four people, if you want your cheesy fix. So, right. ranking, here we go. I think I'm gonna 
bring this to like um, a seven out of ten. Okay. See, I would put it on the same level of Doghouse, which also ranks it a seven out of ten for me. Okay. Really good. Doghouse beats it a little bit in the like good pancakey outside, where this I feel like lacks a little bit. And this cheese is like not the greatest in the world. Yeah, yeah, I, I would. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Hello, we have now ventured down to the third ward to check out the Milwaukee Ale House. And I gotta say, when we were on the bus here, someone asked us if we were doing the cheese curd crawl. And I didn't know that was a thing, but we're making a thing <laughs> now. Market it. Hashtag cheese curd crawl 2019. And that's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. Some delightful, delicious, cheesy goodness. Also, not only that, but it is the most beautiful day out here. We are at currently the Milwaukee Ale House, as Larson said, where we have a beautiful view of the water and a beautiful view of these cheese curds. So, without further ado, let's go. Let's dig in. So, Milwaukee Ale House gave us ranch, but also chipotle aioli, and I'm gonna go with that. So, as always, are you ready? Boom. To, um, we're gonna cheese this. We're gonna try that. Okay. Cheese yep. Bowl. All right, this is going to be a good time. Look at this glorious goodness oh, right here. Oh my goodness. High quality. Okay. Oh my goodness. Boom. I think I just took a bite of the gods. Mm. Oh my goodness. You know, there are a few places in the world where I would say that their cheese curds were handmade by God himself. These definitely are it. Wow. And I know you said Doc House was like amazing, but yeah. this is what I was waiting for. Getting around it is just so light and fluffy, and it makes the cheese the main part of it, which is important when you're eating a cheese curd. So tell me, how would you rank this cheese curd out of 10? 10. 10. I'm gonna go 10 out of 10 as well. I, this is the place to go, ladies and gentlemen. That. I can't, this is it. But um, the one downside is that these cheese curds, $10, a little more expensive. Yeah. Than when you'd be getting other places, but mm -hmm. it's worth it, 100%. I think that's all we have today. That's all we have.